What's going on guys? Today we are going to learn Cigarette Daydreams by Cage the Elephant. This one uses the chords you already know and it shouldn't be too hard to learn so you should get relatively quickly. Make sure to check out my free 10 steps to mastering the guitar training in the description below this video and let's get into it. All right, so right there was the part played in the verses. This one is not too difficult to do. Our chords are gonna be D, D major seven, E minor, G, and A. So starting on a D, our strumming is gonna sound like this. There's your strumming pattern. So downs until the very end where you've got a down up. Nice and easy, just straight down picking, and then you got one down up at the end. This is gonna be pretty much the only strumming pattern in the entire song, so we're gonna start on that D, and then we're gonna switch to a D major seven. I like to do this one just by barring these three frets. Or you can also do it by taking your D chord and shifting your fingers all to the same fret, whichever one's more comfortable for you. So you're gonna play the strumming pattern on that chord then. And then we're gonna to switch to an E minor and it's gonna be slightly different strumming. So down, 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 up. And just try and listen to me and follow along instead of trying to count it out too much. It'll help you just to get the vibe of the counting as opposed to trying to count it too precisely. So after that E minor, we're gonna to switch to G and then A, except this time you're only playing each for half as long as the D and D major seven. So we're gonna go. So down, 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 up, down, 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 up. So that's just gonna be half as long as these first two chords. So all together we've got. And right there is the full verse. So practice that slowly, get the hang of the chord changes, try and follow along with my strumming, and then work up your speed to the full song. Last point on this is the strumming in this is pretty aggressive, so you don't have to kill your guitar, but don't be afraid to pick loud and strong, because that kind of captures the vibe of the song. It's a very aggressively picked song, so feel free to pick a little harder than you would on a smooth ballad. Then moving into the pre-chorus, we're going to play almost the same thing, basically just changing out that E minor for a B minor. Now one important note for this part is it's technically a pre-chorus, but it's going to sound almost the exact same as what's played in the verse. So this is basically just the end of the verse. It's gonna be almost the exact same, just that E minor is switched for a B minor, and we're doing our full strumming pattern. So you can see there, the only difference was I swapped out that E minor for the B minor. Play it once more for you, but this is all there is to it for this section. And that's the entire pre-chorus. Now moving into the chorus, it's gonna sound like this. And there's our chorus strumming pattern. So you can see for the first three chords, we're using the same strumming as we are in the verse and the pre-chorus. Our chords this time are gonna be B minor, D, G, and F sharp minor. 
So the B minor, D, and G are going to use the same strumming pattern from the verse. So you should already be able to do that pretty quickly, just your downs with the down up at the end. And then the only difference here is this F minor. We're going to play. So one, two, three, four, five, six. You got six strums and your pause after the fifth one. And then you go back to B minor and restart. So all together played slow for you, that's gonna sound like this. And that's all there is to it for the chorus. Once you've got the pre-chorus and verse done, the chorus should be pretty easy to follow along with. All right, and this brings us into the final section of the song, which is the bridge. So we're gonna use the exact same strumming we've been using for this entire song. No variations or wild cards here. The only thing to do is remember the order of the chords. So for this bridge, we've got two different halves with slight differences in the chords. So the first half of this bridge is gonna be E minor, A, back to E minor for the first three bars. And the last bar is going to be a switch from a D to an A. The D to the A is gonna be only half a bar each, just like in the verse. So that section is. So there's the first half of the bridge. The second half of the bridge is gonna be exactly the same for the first three chords, E minor, A, E minor, and then changes up for the two half bar chords to a B minor and a G. So the second half of the bridge now sounds like this. So we've got the first half, the second half, and then to end off the bridge, we're gonna play two full bars of A. And that's gonna lead you right into the final chorus. So putting all of this together, here's what we've got for the bridge. Then you're into the chorus. And there you go. If you can play those parts, you can play the entire song. If you like this video or learned something from it, please hit that thumbs up button and say hi in the comments below. It really does make a difference. Make sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you never miss an upload and you learn guitar a lot faster than the person who didn't subscribe. I'll see you in the next video.